Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So currently I'm 37 weeks pregnant and I thought this is the best time to do uh, the what's in my hospital bag video. Uh, so I had actually started it quite early, um, like I think about 28 weeks or something and then I slowly started collecting things and then you know um, just packing everything and then finally I think I was done by 34 weeks. Without further ado, let's jump into the video stream. I have basically divided it into two parts. The birth suite bag and the other one is main bag for the bub and me for the rest of the day because I am going private so I'm going to be staying in the hospital for like five days. also have an option to uh, move to a hotel if uh, the corona situation is any better. So that's why I have packed a lot. So maybe this might not be the case with a lot of people because they only uh, stay about one or two days normally. First of all, let's check the birth suite bag. So the birth suite bag, I've just got this little bag. Uh, this is actually a diaper bag from Target. I got it at a very good price, which is like 20 bucks. And then I have a sanitizer here. And inside this, I have a small pouch with some money because uh, when we are in the birth suite, my partner wants to eat something so I can have some cash or coins here. Uh, so that's why I have this one. And then this is the birth announcement outfit pouch that contains a swaddle, a onesie and a headband uh, for uh, the pub. Hospital provides the disposable nappies for the babies. I haven't packed it. Uh, so uh, after the labor, uh, after take shower, I need change of clothes. So I have a, I'm not going to open this one, but then it has a robe. It has a, a one piece dress with the front opening so that, you know, in case if I am going to be breastfeeding, it would be really helpful. And then it has also got a socks, uh, like a thick socks. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much, um, and yeah, obviously nursing bra and uh, uh, an underwear, uh, which is the grandma underwear. <laughs> so it, it goes in here. Um, and then I have got another bag, towel. And then there is a Freedom Mom um, Perit bottle. I've heard a lot of great reviews about it. And then I've got a bottle with straw. I've got a small hair dryer. I've got some pads um, and then I've got some makeup in there and um, I've also got some toiletries in there. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much uh, what's in my birth suite bag. I'm going to add the iPad because I'm going to be using it until um, I'm going to the hospital. So the charger and the um, uh, iPad will be added in later on. The main bag, I've got um, uh, some uh, bags for dirty laundry uh, to collect that so that I can send it home to get it uh, cleaned and then I have got uh, flip-flops uh, just to like you know use it in a shower I've got some snacks so um, for my partner protein bars and some gum and biscuits and some chocolates for him some um, maternity pads so I've bought like different varieties of maternity pads one is uh, from the Depends the real fit one and then the one is the other one is from Libra, Libra the maternity extra long pads I'm not really sure which one I would like so I'm having like you know multiple options and then I have got the Tux medicated uh, cooling pads apparently this will really help if you have hemorrhoids after uh, giving birth but um, I'm not too sure even otherwise also you can just line it on top of your pad and then it will give you the cooling effect apparently and I've added some water wipes for the bub and then the normal wipes and also some cotton woolen balls and the birth announcement um, uh, play card here some hydrogel um, uh, breast discs um, which is going to be cooling for your nipples and then I've got some uh, nipple what do you call them pads and then I have got uh, a case to put all my prenatals in there just for backup I have got some sachets of uh, carry care uh, formula in here 
uh, onesies and um, swaddles for the bub. Uh, so I, what I've done is I have added like you know uh, multiples of uh, sizes in there, like newborn and zero to three month sizes, and then I've also got some blankets, towels, um, cherry towels like the bub cloth and some hair bands and all the other accessories like hats and everything in here for the bum bras extra bras and uh, grandma underwear here i have got uh, these kind of like you know front open fleece uh, uh, shirts uh, shirt dresses uh, because it's kind of like uh, it will be cold in august as well here in australia so um, I have that and then I have got some fleece pajamas from Kmart so I've got everything from Kmart because even though like you know if it goes bad then I don't have to worry about it and then I've got like a, a long uh, maternity nursing friendly top a going home outfit I've got some flushable wipes and some normal wipes as well so yeah this is pretty much uh, what I'm going to take uh, in the bag my partner uh, will get his own bag as well I think I haven't missed anything I might add, add in some face masks as well like in case because I'm going to stay there for five days so just to like you know just to pamper myself that's about it mm, I hope this uh, video was useful so thank you so much for watching and um, Take care. See you in my next video and don't forget to subscribe. Take care. Bye bye.